What's up YouTube? It's me Brianna and I have a quick little video for you guys. Uh, what I'm going to go through in this video is how to deploy an application to Heroku. This isn't necessarily language specific. I'm going to be using Java or I developed an application in Java and I've uploaded to GitHub. To do this you should have a basic knowledge of you know how to develop at least something that you want to deploy to some cloud platform as well as how to put something on GitHub or commit something to GitHub. So just to start, we've had this application on GitHub. I just made some REST controller. So we're gonna take advantage of GitHub Actions to go through and do this. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go to the marketplace and we're actually gonna look get this um, deployed to Heroku. There is other ones that you can use. Uh, this is just the one that I've used. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna set up a continuous integration workflow and using that we'll be able to deploy to Heroku. Uh, so what we're going to do is use latest version here um, and actually we'll just copy and paste this. So let's go back to GitHub. Let's go to the Brewer Heroku. Let's just do create a new file. Um, so it'll only work if it's in .github slash workflows slash continuous integration workflow. The YAML. the YAML can be named anything, but we'll just name it continuous integration workflow. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this from right here. Now, a lot of this would actually would obviously be specific to you. Um, this secrets Heroku API key I've already set up. If you go to your settings and go to secrets, you'll be able to set up uh, your key. So your app's name will be, we'll call it Brewer Heroku tutorial uh, your email will just be my email okay some build back uh, we're gonna actually get rid of this because it should automatically detect Java um, we'll also get rid of this because we're gonna just do the default which is master uh, we are going to set don't use force to one we don't have Docker set up here, so again, I'm just going to remove this. Um, same thing here, don't need this. Uh, and Heroku process type, this is a web application, so I'll just see this is web. So now, once I commit this, so I'll go ahead, commit this. And when we look in actions, eventually, once it picks it up, it'll take this deploy and it'll make a deploy workflow. So now this deploy workflow is what's going to handle deploying your application to Heroku every single time that there's a change to this repository. So anytime that you make some code change and you upload it here, um, it'll basically go ahead and it'll put this on Heroku. So soon we should see it go to Heroku. Name must start with a letter, end with a letter or digit. It only contain lowercase letters. Okay. so. There was an issue with my name. Back and edit this. Brewer Heroku tutorial. So commit fix name. So push that in. Again, go back to actions. So actions are really useful because they will monitor anytime that your application is updated and it'll automatically deploy that to Heroku. Heroku has a lot of free tiers of stuff that you can use. Um, so if it's like a personal project or you just want to get a example of deploying something to some kind of cloud platform, this is a great starting place and a great first um, cloud platform to use. So if I go down to my personal apps here in Heroku, we'll see Brewer Heroku tutorial. Um, and it'll start building it just like it's on your local machine. So this is just a plain Spring Boot app. So it's gonna it's gonna pull all my stuff from Maven. It just uses a normal Java run. Um, you could see the the um, deployment is deploying just now. So this finished running uh, deployed to Heroku. So now if you go on Heroku and you say view logs, you'll see this come up. And now that it comes up, we can actually open the application. And I can, I don't have a, a just slash route set. So obviously it's not gonna work, but if we come in here and I type 
Heroku tutorial that Heroku app and this is the endpoint that I have set up you can see that I get back my 418 I am a teapot because it's trying to brew coffee and he says I'm a teapot deployed on Heroku and as you can see it came in here and we did give back the 418 so this is a super simple video of how to take your application and deploy it on Heroku um, with a very minimal setup needed on your side, as you saw, all we really did in this uh, tutorial is we went through and we <clears throat> set up this continuous integration file. Basically, all I needed was my secret, which I got from Heroku, and just some default to set up stuff here, and I was able to set up the application completely. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. If you liked the video, please go ahead and subscribe and give me a like. Um, check out my other videos. If you do want to see something else specifically, or maybe you want to see how to deploy to some other cloud platform, or maybe more about GitHub Actions or GitHub in general, uh, please let me know, and I will go ahead and make that video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.